Yep. Hi, I'm Rick with Rouge Media, and I'm a professional installer. I'm going to show you how to put up a mirror. First of all, you want to come in with all your stuff together. This is our first meeting with our new client. You want to be quick, concise, have a small footprint. So be ready to come prepared with your stuff. We're looking at the wall today, where we're going to put it on the center. So I've already spoken with the client, and we agreed that between that light switch, which is a fixture, which is kind of part of your spacing, and that wall over there, we want to go to dead center. Now I've already measured it off. It's 194, and so it comes, or 200, uh, uh, 274 inches. So anyway, 134 inches is right here. Now why do I take it from the socket? Because it's framing. We want to frame the door up, we want to frame, you know, to the center so that it will look good. Part of your job is to make sure aesthetically it looks good, whether it's high, whether it's low. If they have a low hanging ceiling, you might want to go all the way to the top. These guys have a massive ceiling, so we have to pick out what's going to work best for the client. Yes. Alright, now that we have our mark, you're going to have to move some stuff. Make sure that there aren't any clients getting their nails done or what have you. Again, small footprint. We want this stuff to be nice and easy. Because from now on, you're going to be coming back and talking to these people that they think it's difficult. Yeah. And they might not be as happy to do like work. So, first thing I'm going to look at after the size is I know these murals are about 66 inches. 66 to 66 and a half. You have to make sure you're checking. So now I look at what 66 looks like to me. So to the bottom of this tape measure is 66 inches. How does this look? Maybe a little too high, maybe a little low. This feels about right. So now I have my mark here, and I go up.
toggle, and then this kind of thing. Attachment is this. This thing opens up and separates. So once the drill bit goes in, and I'll show you more of this later, this little piece will flip out. So we'll screw this, make a hole, we'll screw this into the wall, and then these pieces will flip out like this. As the screw goes in, it tightens this down, and if this is your drywall, it soaks, it, it, it compresses it. So it's a great fit. The other advantage of this is when you, versus, when you have a toggle, the toggle will switch down, that will go through the hole, and then that will soak down, like this to the drywall. Now, I'll show you the, the advantages and disadvantages of each coming up. On your brackets, the most important thing about your bracket is where it's placed. On our top brackets, we're going to use the, the nut all the way down to the bottom. That way it's sitting in the cradle all the way down. In these ones, the top piece is the most important. As pieces are on the wall, the pressure is pulling down. The top one needs to be secured because the pressure from a stretch comes from the top. When it's on the bottom, the pressure comes from the bottom. So the more secure fixture needs to be on the bottom or on the top. This piece here is less important because there's less stress on it. For the less stressed ones, we use these. brackets which are prepared in advance so you're not setting them up in the store. The ones that are all the way down to the bottom. Put the nuts down to the bottom. I do the nuts. I'm ready to go.
take my bracket. Now the mark I made for 18 is for the mural, which means it's going to be on this nut. Put the outside of that to that, where that, can you see the dot? Take my level. There's a two by four above it, and I put the screwdriver in, and I go knock, knock, but I can go side to side. I'll put the arrows this way, then I'll open sideways and go in.
one or two ways. You stick your magnet on the top, get it to level. These ones also come with bevels, so you can use the bevel side if you want. Get that to level. Take your thing underneath, the level again. Level lift. Make your marks. Let this go. Switch back to drill bits. So, on this one, I'm going to show you what would happen if we had a problem. Let's say I run it in there. There's one. There's two. Now, let's just say I took my screwdriver and it didn't go all the way in like I was hoping. It just sort of stomped. Maybe there's plaster back there. Maybe there's a little bit of something else that we can't get at. Maybe it's a little too short. If you can't just stick it in and move it and be able to wiggle it around, you have to think of a second option. Especially if it's plastic, you don't know the thickness of it. Or if it's double drywall. So, we're going to switch to the alligator clip. Thank you. 
Let's say we went up to this top bracket. We had a small room. It looks good, and we're going to go all the way up. You need to check the level of this. These aren't always level. This one is. Well, let's just say you're molding C level, but it was off, and that's the downside. You need to attach the downside one first. Our murals always stay uh, level, no matter what the ceiling's doing. So there could be a gap like that between where the top, there's a slope to the ceiling. If you're going to the top, always check. Because if you do the downside one first, then you're going to have to adjust your brackets. I didn't run into metal, it wasn't sharp enough to take it away. 
What's the adjustment? We'll do the first one. Standard like we did before. You can see this a little bit more close up. Now we switch 